I went out plein air painting again and this time I went to these wetlands which were really cool. Um, so in this painting there is wetlands in the front, you can see a reservoir in the back, mountains, in front of the mountains there was this uh, ghost town that someone was telling me about. I guess there's a drawbridge that you can take to go over there but I guess, well I don't think you can access it anymore. Hence. The ghost town so but that's a, a cool thing to get in the painting i think this was interesting painting this the other times i've gone plein air painting everything has gone really smoothly there's been um very light wind before and the light always seems ideal with how i i set up my painting so this time um towards the end of my painting session it's the, well, the wind just kept picking up, so uh, it was blowing my easel and my painting over. So it was. I have my palette in one hand, and I'm using that hand to try and hold on to the easel too to keep it from blowing over. And then I have my brushes in my other hand, so it was getting tricky towards the end of it um, to like control everything. So I took it back to the studio and, and made some touches and cleaned up some some edges that I just wasn't able to get to be too precise with having to hold the easel up. So I was just tweaking things and fixing things in the studio, which is nice too because it's taking it into a different atmosphere. So I'm looking at the painting in a, in a different way than I was um, having to just be looking at the painting on site. But I really enjoyed myself there and I might I haven't decided yet. I'm going to wait for the painting to dry, stick it in a frame, see what I think. I might take it back to the same spot and do another session with it and maybe do some glazing techniques. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, it was a cool area. There's a lot of different places that I could see myself painting in that spot because it just that location just had a lot going for it. This time with the painting, uh, I was also painting a lot thicker than I normally have or that I have in the past with the plein air paintings so it's been um it's been fun every time I go out I, I feel like I'm doing something different or exploring a different area and it's just it's just a lot of fun to do these these paintings outside it gets me out of the studio and I see different parts of California and um my style then loosens up a bit which is always fun to explore around with that also then for the bread and butter painting, I had ordered a bunch of frames for it to test out to see which frame I wanted for that painting and they finally came in. Um, so these are all the frames that I got. So this is one silver, which I think looks nice. Um, so my parents, they commissioned this painting and they are not picking the silver frame, but I do have an idea where I'd gotten these um, martini glasses and I really want to do a painting and I think that would be cool to do a painting with a still life with a martini glass especially if everything's kind of like kind of leaning towards the monochrome where it's the silver frame and like glass and silver and then like a clear um, liquid inside like gin or something like that. I like gin martinis. This though is just water right now because it's still the working day, but later. Okay, so there's, an, there's a lot more frames. Here's a gold frame that I got for it, which is the same exact frame, style of frame, just gold, but they're not choosing this one, but I have an idea for this gold frame that I really want to do. I thought this could be a good opportunity to do a still life. I had ordered this donkey, which was wooden, and I gold leafed it. I was um, going to do this Midas themed painting. Um, and then the, the story with Midas, with the, the golden touch, where everything he touches turns into gold. He has this thing happen later on um, where he gets donkey ears, so this is a play off of that. But I thought it would be really cool to do a gold still life painting with a golden donkey in it and see if 
even though like these are the frame would be metallic the painting would be like a painting of a metallic golden donkey but it would be a challenge for me to get the, the painting to look as um look as bright as real metallic as the metallic frame so that would be something funny or something fun especially too if uh, I could play around with color like maybe gold and red or something like that so I want to do a still life painting with that get another frame okay there's this one which um, I guess it kind of looks black but it's really a really dark brown and it's got cool uh, like bronzy gold details on the inside lip of it though they didn't choose this one but I think this frame would look really good with one of my plein air paintings here's another one that is dark brown with a gold lip I really like how simple this this frame is and I think it'll look really good with uh, with a plein air painting in it and I like you can see the the grooves in the wood but the frame that they did choose is this one so this is the frame that they chose it's black with a brighter gold to it um, I think it looks really nice with the painting there's also subtle reds that you can see peeking through this is actually the same frame the same style of frame that um, someone have had just purchased my boats at dock plein air painting and that's what um, the same frame it looks really good for a plein air painting as well so my plan is to um, now that I've got the frame I'm gonna attach the painting inside the frame and then um, be working on the painting in the frame so I can see you know exactly how it's gonna look when it's framed so any finishing touches that all just like make the painting look better in that specific specific frame I'm gonna do that so the frame place that I found is called the king of frames and I've ordered these all offline uh, their place is in LA and I'm really impressed with the frames so if you're framing work I recommend checking them out they've got a, a really nice selection and I like how the corners are like perfectly fastened together so you you don't see any gapping which you see in a lot of um, even custom framing places you can still see that gap sometimes so they seal them perfectly so you don't see that at all and yeah I think they look really great and I really like their frames <laughs> so that's a tip check them out king of frames so I'm gonna get back to the studio and clean up my frames protect them so I can start working on projects and getting them in there so once I finish this painting the bread and butter painting I'm going to be starting this other painting which I'm really excited to it's a collaboration with another artist though I, I can't show the image until it's done and um, I, I think it'll be shown in October October or November perhaps so it'll be a while before I can share it but I'm really excited to sit, set something up it's going to be have a figure and I'm um, gonna have I want the figure to be with a lot of different objects to incorporated with it so I'm really excited to start that keep doing plein air painting I'm working on this other painting right now that I'm saving the image until it's finished the Icarus painting um, yeah, lots of lots of work happening in the studio, which is always good. <laughs>